and welcome back to my channel, Crow Roots. Uh, today I decided to bring you guys along. I have grown this uh, cutting of Monstera Deliciosa. I've been growing this. Oh, look at those roots, oh my goodness. Uh, I've been growing this in a clear vase in my kitchen window for probably months now. <laughs> And it is high time that this gets planted. This is the top node of a uh, Monstera deliciosa plant. And that's why you see two leaves there. There's even one little split. It's a uh, mature, well-established Monstera. And today it's going to get a pop all of its own because it got way too big and way too crazy, couldn't fit in that window or it was trying to take over that window from the other plants so it needed to be uh, propped up or cut up chopped up and propagated and I have lots of little cuttings just like this I'm actually um, going to find other people that want those but this is the one that I have decided I want to keep because it's so awesome so come along with me here we go all right here we go okay so the only thing that we need to pop this guy up is a pot obviously one that's big enough um, this one is somewhat medium size smaller size I got it for my birthday last year it's from Walmart pioneer woman I think it's really cute uh, this is only big enough for this one cutting and honestly after this grows quite a bit it will probably need to be repotted but this is what I'm gonna use right now of course you need your monstera uh, or your cutting um, you want to make sure that the that there are a lot of roots now this is a little bit crazy <laughs> but I think the rule of thumb is that you want multiple roots and then you want them so long that they start growing roots of their own you see this one root was the first root that started and then it has all of these little roots Probably has 10 of them, but all of the roots have their own secondary roots. There you go. There's a good view. So you want to make sure your roots have secondary roots before you pot them up. If they've been propagating in water, that's how I've been propagating these. So hasn't been in water before. And then the other thing that you need is the soil. So this is already pre-mixed. I did this a while back when I intended, <laughs> I intended to um, pot these guys up quite a while ago but run out of potting soil and I only have enough for one that's why I'm only doing one I only need one anyway and so this soil is a mixture that I made myself it is one-third regular potting soil this was either pro mix potting soil or it may have been the proven winners brand because I did have that at the time but anyway it's a good potting soil and then there's also some uh, orchid bark. So it's one third orchid bark. There's some bark pieces in there. Oh, and I just remembered I have some pine bark pieces, a couple pine bark pieces that I was gonna add to this. And then one third perlite. So there's a lot of added perlite in here as well. All right, so I'm gonna go grab some pine bark pieces. I'll be right all right so i grabbed this is pine bark nuggets that i got from lowe's i've used it before as mulch but it also would be okay added monstera deliciosa monstera plants in general like to be you know they like to use little bark pieces mixed in with their soil it makes it more well draining they like to hang the roots like to grip onto those so i'm gonna put just a little bit more because i remembered that i didn't have as much orchid bark as I would have liked. I'm just gonna put a little bit, a couple handfuls in there and mix it around. My soil is already kind of moist, kind of holds its shape just a little bit when I squish on it, but it's not dripping wet. So you want to, to make sure that your soil is pretty, is not dry <laughs> and not super crumbly. So that's good. I'm going to put a little bit at the bottom of my pot, but this, these roots are pretty extensive, so I'm not going to put too much in there. Oh, I want to add that I've already added 
some Biotone fertilizer from Espoma. Um, I use this every time I am transplanting or potting or, um, or putting plants into the landscape in gardens. So it's a great starter fertilizer. It's for the roots. So the, it stimulates the roots. It helps them get going. It helps transplant shock. Um, and so it's a fantastic fertilizer. So I've already added that. I wanted to add that Biotone is, is a good one. Okay, so we've got some in the pot. I'm just going to put this guy in to where I kind of want him to be. Yes, there we go. I mean, <laughs> he's a tall one, that's for sure. So now that I've got him where I want to be, I'm just going to get the roots. Okay, switching to the overhead view so that y'all can see. This is kind of where I want it to sit. And I'm just putting the soil in. Trying to keep it in place. So I know it's not exactly centered. I tried. All right, so here we go. It a, is a lovely monster heavy, looking beautiful in its lovely pot. And it is super, super rooted, so I expect new growth really, really soon. And soon this guy will get big and a plant in and of its own. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And please subscribe to my channel for more. Bye-bye.